through our support in 2014, there's been some really positive growth in community indoor tennis centres as a result of some of the specific and specialist interventions. We've learnt from the pilot program that making tennis relevant and taking tennis to the community rather than expecting the community to come to tennis is one of the biggest opportunities to get people involved. In 2014, we saw the opening of two new public community indoor tennis centres. The first one in January being Portsmouth, which is operated by Parkwood, one of our major partners. The second is the Lee Valley Hockey and Tennis Centre on Olympic Park. It is a result of Paralympic and Olympic investment and a really true sign of legacy post London 2012. The centre opened in the summer and already we've seen some really great numbers on their program and we're already looking at opportunities to expand the centre. Um, it's just great to have, to have something indoors available for everybody, it's great. We have to mention Swansea. From its closure in 2011 with just 70 on the program to now with more than 700 on its coaching program and financial sustainability, they're a centre that continue to, to prove to us just how successful a centre can be with the right people in place. I think half of our success is based now on, on the knowledge that people realise this is a community centre. I have a tennis video game and I love playing tennis on the court. Following on from the pilots, the Tennis Foundation have established itself in developing tennis in the community with the target of harder to reach groups. In 2015, it's our goal to create 100 hubs of community tennis across 10 different locations. The Wheelchair Masters in November was such a massive achievement for the Tennis Foundation as a whole. For it to happen in a community indoor tennis centre, for it to be staged there and be the success it was, was a really, really positive indication to what a community indoor tennis centre can do in being open less than six months. The outreach work that surrounded it, we saw community groups and local school kids attend, watch some wheelchair tennis, which they never would have seen before, but more importantly, given the opportunity to use that facility and know that that facility is a public venue and one that they can use. We want to grow on what we've done. We've got some big plans for, for 2015, 100 community hub sites in, in 10 locations around the country. More engagement with the Community Indoor Tennis Centre Network, more partnerships. We're ready for 2015 to come along and we're ready to, to get on with it. <laughs>